Hello and welcome to Inside Tennis Football's practice facility. I'm Ryan Sylvia. This is Noah Taylor. We are with VolReport.com on the Rivals Network. And to kick off Alabama week with the Vols traveling to Tuscaloosa this weekend, we're going to talk with Josh Heupel and two players, tight end Jacob Warren and center Cooper Mays. So let's jump right into what our takeaways were. Starting with you, Noah, what was your biggest takeaway from what Heupel had to say? Yeah, just kind of what he said about, you know, facing or what Tennessee's defense was able to do on Saturday, what they've been able to do at this point. I know we've talked a lot about it, but, but getting after the quarterback, and it's been key for them and their success. And they've been able to do it in pretty much every game. And Josh Heupel has asked about what Jalen Milrow does right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, you know, Spencer Rattler maybe, if you include him on that list, but they haven't faced a lot of mobile quarterbacks yet. And they've obviously been really good at getting after the QB. So that'll be a challenge for them. He talked about the things that he does. Um, being, you know, being able to stay in the pocket, being able to get outside of it, I think that's going to be a huge challenge for Tennessee, especially coming off two really elite back-to-back -back performances at, at getting after the QB. And you have to think about what was Texas A&M's only touchdown yeah. of QB last week. Run. It was yeah. Max Johnson getting out of the pocket mm -hmm. and, and creating a big play. So Tennessee going to have to keep contain and kind of make sure that Jalen Milrow can't create any big plays with his legs. Of course, he's going to do some damage. It's mm -hmm. impossible to prevent yeah. it completely, but definitely a focus heading into this week. On the other side of the ball, Joe Milton didn't have his best game against Texas A&M. 100 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception. He's asked about kind of what, what's going on with the passing game. And, and he said, of course, Joe needs to improve. He needs to be better. He said there were some kind of fundamental issues that were part of the reason that he was a little inaccurate at times. But he also looked at the wide receivers and kind of said they need to step up as well. They need to get some space. They need to help Joe out. And so it's kind of a, a two two position group thing where both of them are, are being a little underwhelming right now. And they're definitely going to have to step up if Tennessee wants to be able to kind of pull off this upset, I guess you could call it, uh, in Tuscaloosa. Talking about the players, though, Jacob Warren, mm -hmm. tight end. He's had a good start to the year. What was your takeaway from what he had to say? Yeah, you mentioned the passing game there, some of the struggles they've had. He, he's been consistent in the red zone for Tennessee and, and was responsible for the only offensive touchdown on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So uh, a guy that's you know been here a long time, he's already matched his career high uh, in, in total touchdowns with three this year. Um, he's been a guy that, you know, when Tennessee's gotten down there in the red zone at times, it has been a consistent force for them. I think that's been really good to see. And the tight ends in general, just how they've used them. You know, didn't realize that till today, till that question was asked, that yeah. they've had a touchdown in every game, you know, except for one. So, mm -hmm. and that was a loss against Florida. So they, they've been able to use them, utilize them. And a lot of experience there with McCollin Castles and Jacob Warren, but a guy that's been a, kind of a sure thing for Tennessee on some of those, you know, short yardage red zone possessions. Yeah, Heifel's liked using his tight ends. Princeton yeah. fan thinking back to last hear that kind of Swiss Army knife yeah. of a player and, and now replacing him with McCollum Castle to, and they've seen success there. Hypo also or, or Cooper Mays was asked about the crowd noise and as the center obviously a lot of pressure on him in these road environments he said I, I thought it was an interesting quote he was like imagine you're at your day job and someone puts up a speaker turns it to max volume puts it in your ear the whole day you're probably not going to get a lot of yeah. work done so he says it's that type of situation where of course it hurts communication you're probably gonna have to go to a silent count but it just makes everything more difficult yeah. when you're on the road but he says that you know he feels a lot more comfortable now than of course he did in the first game he played in front of a big environment of course he wasn't the center against florida when they had a lot of issues with communication it was ollie lane still as cooper mays worked back from his hernia injury so i would expect tennessee to kind of take that next step in terms of communication on the road it's still gonna be tough tuscaloosa is gonna be fired up especially with how last year went in that third say third saturday of october game but Cooper May is kind of giving an insight into what it's like to be a center in those yeah. run environments and how difficult it can be. But like I said, himself, Jacob Warren and Hypo, they all seemed somewhat confident that it won't be as ugly as it was in the swamp. Yeah. And, you know, it's impossible to avoid a, a, a complete slate of no mistakes in those environments, but should be better. But that'll do it all from us today. We will be back here tomorrow with some more coaches and some more players to talk to. So make sure you subscribe to hear those and then us break it all down right here again head over to ballreport.com as well for all of our written content hop in the rocky top form grab yourself a subscription links to everything you need is in the description and thank you for watching